Hello everyone, Vickerstown Videos here. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my recent Thomas purchases. Let's start off with this, a Thomas and Friends Take and Play Thomas Portable Set. Now the whole idea of Take and Play was that the sets were all portable. And this Thomas is of the older style, the older version of the cab. You can see the wheels there are the newer old style if you get me. And you can also tell by the tab there on the back of Thomas, that red tab, they started to assemble these in a different way. And there is a CGI face on Thomas there. And I covered up the price tag with a piece of track because I do not want to say where I bought this because I don't like to reveal where I buy anything Thomas and Friends because I don't like to... I don't like to be promoting shops because it makes me look like I'm a rep for the shop. So I don't do that. So, and if I take this price tag off, I have tried, it will rip the card. And my intention is to keep this item mint in box. So I do not want to take off that price tag, but I have decided to cover it up for this video. The back of the box looks like this, and strangely, they have used a different style Thomas in the illustration on the back of the box to what you actually get in this set. That's the style of Thomas that came before this. So I'm not quite sure why that is, but you can see here there are other sets available. The one set that I did not find was Diesel, and I like the idea of that crane there. That crane thing does look a bit interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't have minded getting Diesel, but he was not available. I could not find him. But the back of the box, it's it's what you'd expect. Nice illustration. Shows you that this set is indeed portable and that there is a home for Thomas, which is very important that the engines have a home and they won't be flying out of this set once it's in motion. Because... I highly doubt children are very, very careful with this kind of stuff. I would imagine it is picked up and thrown into the boot of the car or thrown onto the ground when they reach their destination. So it is good that Thomas has a secure place to reside while this is in motion. And just in case any of you are curious, the date underneath this item says 2013. 2013 Galen Thomas Limited. And that does sound about right, because in 2014, Take and Play changed. The cabs changed, the magnets changed, a lot changed, actually. So this was the final year of the older style of Take and Play. And I also managed to find the little green caterpillar with red stripes. The Percy Portable set was also in the shop, and I could not let it sit there. You can see here, there is Percy, as I previously mentioned, the newer of the older style engines in terms of the wheels there and the little tab on the back there underneath the coal bunker. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's number six there seems very large. It seems larger than the previous version. Maybe I'm wrong. I need to take out another Percy of the older style take and play or perhaps even a take along and make a comparison. You can see there we also have the CGI face there on Percy which is very, very nice. And his portable set is slightly different to Thomas's. It is the same basic shape, but you can see there we have McCall's farm instead of Thomas's set, which had a signal kind of a thing there. So yeah, different, but the same. Here is the back of the box and similarly to Thomas's, it is using the older style Percy instead of the new one with the different wheels and the CGI face. Not quite sure why that is, but you can see there McCall's Farm. Diecast Metal shows you a picture there of the set while it's all packed away and Percy is safe and sound. You can see there Thomas and Diesel. Basically the same as the back of the box on Thomas, just different colours. That shed thing there is a different colour, McCall's Farm and Percy's included. Apart from that, the very same as Thomas. 
and the date underneath this item says 2013, so the exact same as Thomas's. It is quite rare that I get really excited about a Thomas item, but let me tell you, I got very, very excited when I found this. As you can see, this is the walking bridge set. It is part of the Thomas motorized range. You can see there's the older version of Thomas there. This is before all engines go kicked in. And I have two pieces of track there to cover the price tag. And let me just show you something that makes this set very special. Just before I get to that, the date underneath this item says 2020, in case any of you want to know. As you can see, that's what Thomas is supposed to look like, and well, mine sort of looks like that. We go up here, he has the cogs and gears on the side of him, but he has no face. This is a faceless Thomas. He is missing the face. I have not done this myself. This is what it was like when I purchased it. It is still sealed. There is no damage in the plastic there. This is the only factory error Thomas item I have, so that's why I was so excited when I found this. And I don't know if these are common with these sets. I haven't seen one online, ever. I've never seen it on YouTube where the walking bridge set came with a factory error Thomas. But nonetheless, I am very, very happy to have this. It is the only factory error that I have, and it's a really cool error to find. So what do you guys think of my recent purchases? Do you like to take and play portable sets? And have you ever seen a factory error Thomas in the walking bridge set? I certainly haven't until now. And thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.